Fitness Sports Center, we go for a college football game preview and prediction on the week four matchup between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Illinois Fighting Illini, the two dark horse teams in the Big Ten, facing off here in week four. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. The Illinois taking care of Central Michigan last week, 30 to nine. This is overall a really strong defensive team so far this season. That's kind of what you can expect out of a Bielema coach team. And so far, it really feels similar uh, to what we saw out of this team back in 2022 when their defense was uh, honestly one of the best defenses in the country. Their offense wasn't very good. I mean, but so far, this offense has shown promise here in 2024. So, I mean, Illinois in this current position, they're not going to be a big-time contender uh, for the Big Ten, I don't think. But I do think that this team could be a dangerous team that – uh, maybe upsets a pretty big name team at some point. Nebraska on the other side would be Northern Iowa 34 to 3, 3 0 on the season. Um, and Nebraska's defense is brutal to say the least. They've allowed 20 points combined in their first three matchups, and that includes the game against Shadur Sanders, Travis Hunter, and Colorado. So this defense has really shown up so far. The offense much improved from last season. It makes sense uh, to see both teams ranked where they are right now. Games will be on Friday in Lincoln, Nebraska, kickoff 8 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going to Nebraska by eight and a half here. So, I mean, considering where the over-under is at 43 and a half, more of a lower scoring game may be expected. Uh, Nebraska is expected to control this matchup according to the spread as of right now. FBI is going to Nebraska as well, 70%. Look at the series history. Last season, Nebraska uh, beat Illinois in Champaign, kind of a one-sided game towards Nebraska. But before that, Illinois did win three straight games. So, I mean, Nebraska hasn't been Illinois in Lincoln since 2018. So it's been a little while, and Illinois has overall led the last five uh, as they've won three of the last five. Your stat comparison, line of 58th in points per game, 22nd in points allowed. Once again, this is a strong defensive team here in Illinois. They're 27th against the pass this season so far, 87th against the run, which isn't great, but... Overall, that is something that should get better as the season goes on. Uh, you look at Nebraska, though, 26th in points per game, 9th in points allowed. I mean, last season, you'd seen Nebraska pretty high up, top 20 in most of the defensive stats. The offensive stats, though, often were in the hundreds. And this season, it feels like the tides are turning. Dylan Rayola uh, in there for the Cornhuskers, a much stronger offensive team this season. That's why Nebraska is ranked 22nd. That's why this team is... Uh, getting so much attention right now is because it feels like this is a much more balanced team than what we've seen in years past. Nebraska has been a strong defensive team. It's just been the offense that has been a big issue the last three or four years, but it feels like things are changing here in 2024. This offense has really been impressive so far. I mean, talent-wise, this is a team with a really high ceiling here in 2024, and I mean, they're ranked 22nd in the country right now, but talent-wise, if they continue to only get better, I mean, Nebraska could be a true college playoff contender this season. It sounds uh, kind of distant right now, but based on what we've seen so far, that is within possibility for the Huskers this season. They are the top-ranked team in the country right now in rush defense as well. That is something worth uh, keeping in mind, especially for an Illinois team that, I mean, overall, I mean, Illinois is kind of balanced on offense. Alt Myers had a strong start at quarterback. Uh, got Figgin in the, in the backfield, who's had just over 170 yards three touchdowns as well so overall a balanced offense but scoring on this Nebraska defense uh, is going to be a pretty big challenge for any team this season your recent matchups both teams with standout wins so far this season Illinois beat Kansas in week two top 20 team in the country at the time and Nebraska beat Colorado at home 28 to 10 also in week two your key points both teams 3-0 Illinois strong defensive team with a rising offense uh, Lou Goldmeyer, this is a strong offensive team this season. I mean, last year uh, they showed flashes of being a strong offensive team. I mean, it was this was kind of a strange team last year. They were just pretty inconsistent overall. They showed flashes on both sides, but uh, they just could never click, I guess, in the same game on both sides of the ball. And I feel like we're starting to see that shift here in 2024. This is, it appears, a more consistent team here this season. And I mean, that could lead to, I would say, a pretty successful season uh, for the Illini coming up here. And I'll say this as well. It sounds crazy right now. A win for the Illini here. If they can go on the road to Nebraska, uh, pull off a win like this, that's two ranked wins on the season. 
Illinois could be in the college football playoff picture this season if they keep this up. Obviously, the road only gets tougher. This team's next four or five weeks or so, Penn State, uh, Michigan, also Oregon on the road um, in late October. So things do get pretty tough, but I would say temporarily. If they can find a way to beat Nebraska, that does put Illinois into the college football playoff picture. As for Nebraska, a brutal and experienced defense. I'll say it again. This is, I would say, one of the top teams, one of the top defenses in the country this season. We have seen that so far. The way this team played against Colorado and Shadur Sanders and Travis Hunter. I mean, Nebraska uh, controlled them the entire game, only about 10 points there. Uh, this defense is legit this season. It's just a matter of uh, the offense taking – That's the offense is really what determines how far Nebraska goes this season, and so far it has looked pretty good for the Huskers. So Dylan Rayola – uh, leads an offense on the rise, and they're emerging as a dark horse contender. I'm not talking, like, I don't think Nebraska's winning any national championships this season, but uh, this team could definitely be, I mean, we could be in November, and Nebraska very much could still be in the college football playoff picture, and I would not be surprised. I feel like this team is good enough to do that, and, I mean, you look at the way the schedule sets up as well, I mean, from this point on. Illinois is a tough opponent, but... Purdue, Rutgers, Indiana, the next three after the after after this one. This could be a 7-0 team going into Columbus uh, in late October. So for Nebraska, obviously the sky's the limit at this current point. Sky's the limit for both teams at this point in the season. So with that, let's get a prediction here for Illinois and Nebraska coming up here in week four. In the end, I do have to go with the home team. Going Nebraska here 24-13. I mean, these are two pretty similar teams overall. Strong defensively. Uh, two offenses definitely on the rise right now. Uh, but I feel like you compare these two teams side by side, Nebraska is just the better team. They are uh, more experienced on defense. Their offense, I feel like, has a higher ceiling. Uh, plus, they're at home in this matchup. I think Nebraska finds a way to pick up uh, what is a pretty strong Big Ten win here early on in this season. I think it's Going to be a pretty close matchup throughout. I wouldn't be surprised if a late score is what pulls Nebraska away. Uh, but I think this is more of a lower score matchup here for sure. So I'm taking the under, uh, taking Nebraska 55% and to cover the spread, uh, which is currently eight and a half points. But I mean, either way, I mean, these are your two main door courses in the Big Ten this season. The winner of this game, which I think will be Nebraska. I feel like Nebraska gets kind of put on the culture ball playoff picture after a win like this against a ranked Illinois team, but it's one of those matchups that could definitely go either way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup, and I appreciate you guys watching as always. My name is Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.